Oh, 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 he is able. Do you believe in this one? Sing with me. Oh, 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 he is able. Sing, God is able, church. Come on. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God because He won't give up on you because He is able. Oh, 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 He is able. Sing it with me, church. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, 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 he is able. God is able. Sing. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Never. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you because he is able oh you know on this morning the holy ghost gave me a word for you your will lord not mine your will that's what jesus said in the garden of gethsemane but i'm going to a different passage of scripture and i believe god wants to speak to you this morning father as we are about to go into the word of god remember to minister to my precious brothers and sisters that's tuning in to this broadcast right now, strengthen them. Lord, you know David said, Thy word, O Lord, is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the living God. Minister to your people into the deepest places in their lives, where no one else but only you can see where they are hurting, where they need wisdom, they need knowledge, they need understanding, they need healing to take place in their spirit, their soul, and their body. Bring direction, bring clarity into the lives of your people on this morning. I pray for the single mom, the single dad, the fireman, the policeman. God, I pray for your people, politicians. I pray for Democrats, Republicans, independents. I lift them up before you this morning. Minister to your people. Bring peace because your word said how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Minister to your people on this morning, Lord, and around the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Someone say amen. Now watch this. I want to take you into the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, verses 1 through 6. Listen to what the word of God says. The Lord gave another message to Jeremiah. He said, go down to the potter's shop and I will speak to you there. I'll go down to the potter's house. I have a word for you. Jeremiah said, so I did as God commanded me and found the potter working at his wheel. You know the potters who take these clay and turn it into something. Listen to verse four. Verse four says, but the jar he was making did not turn out as he had hoped. So guess what he did? So he crushed it into a lump of clay again and started over. Verse 5, then the Lord gave me this message. O Israel, can I not do to you as this potter has done to his clay? As the clay is in the potter's hands, so are you in my hand. Now listen, you got to understand this. This word applies to us as well. Of course, right here, God is speaking specifically to the children of Israel. But I'll tell you why we can say this word applies to us. Because in First or Second Corinthians, the Bible, no, Second Timothy, the Bible says, All scripture is given by inspiration of of God, and it's profitable for correction, reproof, are you listening, and instruction. 
So this word shows you how God deals with his people. So God is telling Israel, as the clay is in the potter's hands, so are you in my hand. And I believe God is saying to you this morning, as the clay is in the potter's hands, so is your life in my hands. And God can do with you what he wants to. Now I want to point out a few things here. If you watch a video with a potter working on the clay, I want you to understand this, the clay cannot tell the potter what to turn it into. It's totally up to the discretion of the potter. And God is the potter, and you are the clay. And where we get into trouble is we try to tell God what's best for us. You really don't know everything that's good for you. That's why some of your prayers are not answered because had God answered your prayer, it would have destroyed your relationship with him. Are you listening to me this morning? You are the clay. You can't tell God what to do in your life. He is God. He paid a price for you. He shed his precious blood on Calvary so he can do with your life as he will. And you know why some of us get into trouble? Because we are fighting. I've been there. We have kicked and fought and wrestled against God's will. And nothing began to work out in my life until I yielded and said, your will, Lord not mine. And you know, the Bible says the way of a transgressor is hard. A transgressor is one who knows what to do, but yet he's not doing it. And many of you know what you should be doing, and you are not doing it. You are going opposite of God's will for your life. And as a result of it, you are getting yourself into a, dig a, a, a deeper mess. You're, di you're digging a deeper ditch. Your life is in shambles. You are frustrated. You are confused. And of course, we, I know there's an enemy out there called the devil who attacks us, but I got bad news for you this morning. Everything is not the devil's fault. God gave us the word to put the devil in his place. The Bible says, submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Remember, no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, it shall be condemned. How about this? Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Are you listening to me? This is the victory, 1 John 5, 4, that overcomes the world, even our faith. How about this? Isaiah 59, 19. When the enemy comes against you like a flood, the spirit of the... Let me preach for a minute here. When the enemy shall come against you like a flood, the spirit of the living God will raise up a standard against him. How about this? He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and the noise of pestilence. He'll cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will trust. His truth will be your shield and buckler. A thousand will fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand but it will not come near you how about this one Jesus said those that are in the Father's hands. No man can pluck him out. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Jesus said, I've given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt you. Somebody shout yes. Shout yes. I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Let me get back to what I'm saying here. So where we get ourselves into trouble is when we do not yield to what God's trying to do in our lives. We want our own way. We want our own thing. We want our own will. God's telling us, go east, we want to go west. God's telling us, go south, we want to go north. What you got to do, you got to do exactly what the clay does. The clay just yields and sits there, and whatever the potter wants to do in the life of the clay, the clay is satisfied because he know the potter, he knows the potter is going to turn him into something beautiful. Are you listening to me? The more you fight the potter, which is God, the longer you are going to stay on the wheel spinning around and nothing good is going to be, is going to come out of you unless you yield to the Holy Ghost. David said, we are wonderfully and beautifully made before the Lord. How about this analogy? Have you ever seen a caterpillar struggling 
to come from out of a cocoon. Do you know if you cut that cocoon open to help the caterpillar, you would actually destroy that caterpillar from being turned into a beautiful butterfly. And some of your struggles, you've been cursing and rebuking some of your struggles, but some of your struggles is the very thing that God is using, not all of you, in some of your situations, the very struggle you have. God is using that struggle to turn you from into a caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. But you got to trust God. You got to surrender. You got to say, Lord, your will, not mine. You have to yield to the Holy Ghost. Are you listening to me? You are trying to do your own thing, but God is speaking to you this morning and saying, look, I am the potter. You are the clay. I get to decide how you're going to look, who you are going to be. That's why Jesus said to his apostles, he said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. It's not up to them to make themselves. All he asks you to do is follow. All he asks you to do is follow. All he asks you to do is yield. All he asks you to do is trust him. Are you listening to me? He just wants you to trust him. You got to yield. I'm talking to Christians this morning as well as sinners, you got to say, Lord, your will, not mine. Nothing good happened for Joseph until he fully yielded to God's will. When he yielded, every time he yielded, he was promoted. Are you listening to me? How about Esther? She did not even want to do what Mordecai asked her. But she yielded and great victory came to the Jews. Look at David on the run from King Saul. When David yielded to God and said, Lord, your will, not mine. God took David to the throne. Look at Gideon. How about Daniel, Elijah, Moses? It's time to surrender. You read about these men's lives and you see the wonderful work of God in their life. But it wasn't always so. They all had a weakness and God had to make them into something. He had to take them and crush them back into a lump of clay and start it over again. I know he had to start over in my life. But it didn't go the way God wanted it to go until I yielded to his will. I had to come to the place and say, your will, Lord, not mine. Even Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, God himself in the flesh, had to cry out and say, not my will, but your will be done. Are you listening to me this morning? You got to yield. You got to surrender. He wants to make something beautiful out of your life. I surrender all. I surrender all. Come on, lift your hands and sing it with me. Oh, I surrender all, all to thee, all to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Listen, I want you to say this after me. Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I'm talking to Christians and I'm talking to sinners. Lord Jesus, I surrender. I'm tired of fighting with you, God. I'm tired of trying to do my own thing. I'm trying to have it my own way. The Bible says there is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is death but it's not going to happen to you because you are yielding. You are willing to cooperate. You are willing to say, Lord, you are the potter, I am the clay. You turn me into whatever you want to because I know you want to make something beautiful out of my life. Say, Lord, I'm not running anymore. I surrender my all to you, my career, my life, my family, my marriage, my children, my business. I surrender all to you. And if you are a sinner, Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all of my sins. I throw myself on your mercy. I throw myself into the hands of the potter. I am the clay. Forgive me, Lord. 
Wash me in your blood. Cleanse me. Jesus, you died on Calvary Cross for me. And God raised you from the dead on the third day. I ask you to be Lord of my life. You are my Savior and my Redeemer. And I accept you from this day as Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, if you prayed that prayer with me, your sins have been forgiven. And I want to say this. God is about to make something beautiful out of your life. He knows what he is doing. He is the potter. He is the great I am. Look at what he did with David, an adulterer. He forgave him and restored him. What about Moses, a murderer? God used a murderer to deliver the children of Israel. What about the apostle Paul, a murderer? God raised him up and he wrote more than half of the New Testament. Look at what God did in their lives. Gideon, a weak man, but after he yielded to God, and the Spirit of God came on him. He became a mighty warrior. God wants to do something great in your life. But you have to come to the point where you say, Lord, your will, not mine. If you prayed that prayer, your sins have been forgiven. You are a born again Christian. And right under the video and say, Pastor Sean, I'm not fighting with God anymore. I've surrendered. And if you are a sinner, say, Pastor Sean, I'm a new Christian in Christ Jesus. I surrendered my life to Jesus. Me and Pastor Amy love reading those statements. We love knowing you are saved. Your sins have been forgiven. Even as a Christian, we love knowing that you are repenting and making things right with God. We love knowing that you are growing and God is using this broadcast to teach you, to strengthen you, and to help draw you closer to God and fall more in love with the Lord Jesus. We care about you guys. That's why we are with you every morning to encourage you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching us through YouTube. Amen. Share these videos with some of your friends. And be a blessing to them. If you're watching us through Facebook, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. And send us a friend request on Facebook. We'd love to have you a part of our social media family. And remember to stand with us. Support the work of God that we are doing. Send in your donations. You can visit us online, seanpinder.net forward slash give. If you have a PayPal account and prefer to give through your PayPal account, our ministry account is paypal.me forward slash seanpinderministries. Or if you prefer to mail in your donations, make your money orders and your checks out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 11744. To Carrollton, Texas, 75011-7442. Remember, your will, Lord, not mine. We love you guys and look forward to being with you again on tomorrow morning. Share this broadcast with as many people as possible. God bless you. We love you. Take care now. Bye-bye.